how safe would you feel? What year was this, this sheriff of uh, Left Santa Cruz? Do you know? Mark Tracy. He, they threw me in jail for a six month sentence for driving 27 miles per hour down my own private road so when, when just before they tried to murder me in front of my kids. 5 2006, because it's quite a blur when you get uh, seven cases filed against you, you get your kids kidnapped from you. Um, he must have ran away from Santa Cruz County, it was either in 2006 or 2007. So he just packed up? Did he even bother to sell his house? He just packed up and left? He packed up and left, went to his nice ranch he has in Montana. Of course, these people are making a lot of money. The they, judge. What was this sheriff's name? Mark Tracy. Who finished his term of sheriff? He appointed the next sheriff. Oh, he appointed a senior deputy to take over while he, he left? Appointed what he did. Now the judge who sent me to jail for six months was a former district attorney and the artful dodger Art Danner, also a serious criminal. He was caught while as a DA in all these different crimes, stealing money. He had a, a mistress who was a cocaine addict who kept on checking in and, and paying her a salary while she never did any, any work. And he's caught with all these crimes. This, this is district attorney who threw me in jail. Now then he quickly resigned when he was a DA. Uh, Art Danner. Now, in fact, one of our lawyers implemented the Quo Warranto process, the private attorney general process, against him. So he quickly resigned. So he gets appointed as a judge. Now, the Judicial Nominations Committee rate him as not qualified. And of 678 nominees by Governor Wilson, and apparently cost about $850,000 to be nominated as a judge under the table. Governor Quo Wilson? Warranto. That's a long time ago. A while ago, he's appointed judge. Now. I'm talking about the, the district attorney became the judge. I'm talking about the crime, the, the element of these officials. How they promote the criminals. criminals. They look for criminals. And of 678 nominees by Governor Wilson, only two were rated by the Judicial Nominations Committee as not qualified. It doesn't make any difference. He gets put in as a judge. I get put in front of him as a trial. He excludes any evidence I have proving, and I have extensive evidence proving that I'm innocent. He won't allow me to testify as to the facts to the case. He strikes my testimony from the record, orders the jury out of the room in the instance, tells me I'm not allowed to say that with respect to the sheriffs, how they assaulted me, brings the jury back in, tells him to disregard everything I've said, and he's already rigged the jury now with all the people who work for anyone in their family or they work for the state. He goes and allows the sheriffs to submit hearsay, double hearsay, and known lies. And he leans towards the jury when they submit the lies and the double hearsay, and he says, this is for information purposes only. This is the type of filthy criminal we have in our government. And it's important to understand that they're filthy criminals. Like our president, one of the biggest mass murderers in history, he has been responsible for pumping 2,000 tons of nuclear waste into the Gulf region. Now that uranium, which comes from these depleted power plant rods. You remember when you had Three Mile Island when that uranium gets out into the air? 2,000 tons of nuclear waste into the Gulf region. 2,000 tons of nuclear waste into the Gulf region. 